Namaste, good morning. My name is Gemma and for this class you're just going to need your yoga mat, maybe a blanket or something to keep you warm at the end and some beads for chanting. Let's get started. This is going to be a nice gentle morning wake up. So to begin with, come onto your mat, hands underneath the shoulders fingers spread nice and wide make your tabletop position let's lengthen through the back of the neck from here enjoy a few slow rotations all the way around maybe closing the eyes enjoy a deeper inhalation in through your nose maybe you want to exhale the breath out from the mouth in your own time. Change the direction of your rotation and just getting into the corners of your body this morning. The shoulders and the hips. While we're doing this with the eyes closed, check that there is no tension in the jaw. You might like to mentally massage the jaw, release the tongue, the throat and just give yourself permission to journey inwards. In your own time, make your way back to tabletop, so back to center. Just recheck that those wrists are under the shoulders and the knees are underneath the hips. Let's dip the belly and lift the head, opening up the throat, pull the shoulders slightly away from the ears and just press the floor away from you. As we exhale, drop the head, lift the belly. Rounding through the thoracic spine. Let's inhale to drop the belly, lifting the head, and dropping the head, lifting the belly as we exhale fully, 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 fully. So making sure every last drop of the breath is exhaled. Inhale deeply through the nose. Maybe pressing the breath out from the mouth on the exhalation and pulling the belly up towards your spine. One or two more rounds of cat-cow. Following the breath. Visualize the spine to be like a wave. Just feel the space developing between the vertebrae. One last round. And a full, full, full exhalation. Let's return the spine to neutral. From here, we tuck our toes. Lift our butts to the sky. You could keep the knees bent though and just lift your tailbone to the sky. Fingers open wide. Nice long back of the neck and pull your lower belly up towards the spine. Let's start to press the feet down if you want. So you could Practice with those bent knees and just focus your work on the length of the spine. Otherwise, you might like to join me in just pedaling through the heels, pressing your weight backwards. You might visualize your Ardha Mukhasana, so your downward facing pose, to be like a triangle. The apex of the triangle the navel center. Maybe breathing all the way from the nose to the navel. In your own time, start to sink your weight back into the heels, even tucking the chin up towards the collarbones. Every day is different. You might feel a little bit stiff if you're practicing in the morning. So cool, be cool. It's all good. From here, 
Let's take our time and just slowly walk the feet up the mat towards your hands, coming into our forward fold. Check that the feet are hip width apart. Remembering hip width apart is not that wide. So just placing the ankles in line with the hips. Let the head be heavy. Even take a little micro bend in the knees. Bring the thumbs into the elbow creases. Let the head sink and let gravity do the work here for you. You might also hear the mantra playing in the background and let the mantra do the work for you as well. So eyes are closed, just letting the spine lengthen, letting gravity do its thing. Perhaps you let the arms go. Maybe pulling the belly button now up towards your spine. Nothing else doing, just the lift from within. Some of us might like to gently shake the head. Release the jaw. No need to have the eyes open. With a slight bend in the knees, about five or 10, 20%. You're going to take the arms out to the side with the fingers open wide and draw a big circle all the way around yourself to stand. Let the hands meet above your head and then cut yourself down through the center line, the madhya, all the way to the toes. So bend the knees, inhale, circle, lift. Exhale, thumbs down the midline, all the way to the toes. Circle, lift on that inhalation. Exhale, fold. Keep going, circle, lift. Enjoy that inhalation. Folding. And just keep going, close the eyes. Perhaps you can tune into the sensations in the body. Perhaps you can recognize that nice exchange. The inhalation energizing, the exhalation relaxing. So of course, always breathing in through the nose as the nose has those filters purify the air. But from time to time, you might like to exhale out from the mouth. Very good for releasing anxiety from the body. Sometimes it's nice to over dramatize that exhalation. Pumping a few rounds of the breath through the body with a little bit more intention. As the breath starts to increase, match the speed of your movement. Fingers are open wide, as though you could breathe in through the fingertips. Of course, if you've got lower back issues, you keep that little bend in the kneecaps. Otherwise, you're keeping the legs nice and open and the spine nice and long. So don't worry if you can't touch the floor. Don't worry at all. Just keeping the spine long, keeping the arms open, fingers spread, breath moving and just sinking the movement with the breath. One or two more rounds. Focusing on a nice full exhalation. So making sure you get every last drop of the breath out from the body. 
Next time you're up in standing, pause here, bring the hands to interlace, flip the palms and reach up to the sky. So find the extension through the arms. Now focus the gaze on a point on the floor in front of you and lift up onto the tippy toes. So really extending the body, lifting out of the hips, finding that balancing point. When you're ready, heels come to the floor and we're going to sit down in our invisible chairs, lifting up an invisible bowl of water over our heads. So you've got options here. The feet can remain at hip width apart or you can join the knees together as you like. But lifting the arms up. Alternatively, hands could come to the heart if you want a little easier chair pose this morning. No big deal, you do you. Inhale, lift, let's interlace and flip and rise on up again, lifting up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, sit back down in that invisible chair. Inhale, lift, reach up. Exhale, back down. Hold that bowl of water, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift up. Last one, sitting back down. Taking that invisible bowl of water above the head. And now take your invisible imaginary bowl of water and put it on a shelf out in front of you. And then drop the head, lift your butt and come back into that easy peasy forward fold. Some of us might like to bend the knees and slot the hands underneath our feet and just press into the palms, getting the torso onto the thighs, tucking the chin. When you're ready, step in off the hands, lengthening and opening the knees, bringing the hands to the kneecaps for a halfway lift. A nice long spine, open back of the neck and drawing the shoulders away from the ears, making an L shape with the body. With an exhalation out from the mouth, just <laughs> collapsing. So we'll take three or four rounds like that. Inhale, hands to the kneecaps, maybe pausing and suspending the breath and <sighs> flopping down, inhale. And exhale. <sighs> One more. <sighs> nice release, maybe weighing like an elephant's trunk, just for a little bit. Maybe bending the knees and letting yourself really dangle, shaking the head. So just letting the body be floppy. It's morning time, letting ourselves slowly adjust. From here, you're going to step back with the right foot, framing the left foot with the hands. Nice runner's lunge, just checking, of course, knee and ankle are stacked and just bringing your weight forward. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. Maybe bringing the belly button in towards the spine. Fix the gaze on a point or otherwise close the eyes. Open the ears. Take a nice big breath into the back of the lungs, feeling the back of the ribs lift. Exhaling out of the mouth, reducing any nervous tension in the body. When you're done, let the right kneecap sink to the mat, to the floor, untuck those right toes, press your weight forward and get that invisible bowl up and over the head again. Let's bring the hands down through the madhya, so madhya meaning middle, the midline of the body. Bring the hands to the heart center. 
Let's give ourselves some variations here. So you might just stay here. That might be too much for you. Another option, placing the palms onto the left thigh. Otherwise, you might enjoy some cactus arms here, creating a nice open hand, elbows and shoulders align. Chin is level and gaze forward. Another variation that you might like is bringing the arms into Eagle Pose or Garuda Asana. So bringing that left elbow underneath the right and then double wrapping, squeezing the hands, bringing the shoulders away from the ears. Awesome, from there, maybe extending the arms up, up, up to the sky, prayer position above you. Gaze goes up 75 degrees as the thumbs come to the back of the skull. Press those hips forward. Close the eyes, work your balance if you feel comfy. All right, inhale to the sky. Draw your invisible circle wide around you. Frame that left foot, tuck the right toes, pick up that back knee. Now left foot is gonna go all the way back to dog or maybe all the way up to Eka. Hara Aramukasana. Okay, so we could take it to Aramukasana, downward facing dog, or you might feel like lifting the left leg to the sky. Now, most importantly, check that the hips are squared. Right heel is the focus here. Right heel coming to the floor. Take your time, hold space. So just holding space, developing your self-awareness, your bodily awareness. Let's bring that left foot to the floor. Take the knees out wide as you come onto the tippy toes. Let the knees go to the side of your mat. Toes meet, but to the heels. Forehead to the floor. A nice wide leg, child's pose. When you're ready, up onto the knees as you inhale, tuck the toes, lift your butt back to the sky, heels to the floor, Ara Mukhasana. Right foot to the sky, Eka, Pada Ara Mukhasana. Of course, these words are Sanskrit words. It's like the word yoga is a Sanskrit word. It's like the word mantra is a Sanskrit word. Bring the knee slowly through, placing the right foot in between the hands. Once again, sink into that knee, spread the toes of your right foot. So your toes are like the roots of a tree here really creating a stable foundation, nice long back of the neck. Closing the eyes, breathing into the back of the lungs, lifting the ribs. Awesome, left kneecap drops, untuck the toes, sweep and lift your invisible bowl of water to the sky. Maybe coming down through the heart center your prayer pose, hands to the thigh if you prefer to just hold space here or come in again with those cactus arms nice and wide spread of the fingers, shoulders sinking away from the ears, right elbow under the left for our Garuda arms there, Garuda another nice Sanskrit word. From there, perhaps extending the arms to the sky, tilting the gaze, thumbs to the back of the skull, opening up through the armpits, pressing the hips forward. Inhale up, circling to frame that foot. Pick up the back kneecap and stepping 
up to the top of the mat again. Nice, heavy, 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 heavy head. Belly button in as you inhale, out of the mouth as you exhale. Enjoy a few more rounds of that breath work there. So pull in the belly button into the spine on the inhalation, out of the mouth, on the exhalation. Bend those knees 20%. Take a big circle lift to the sky. And exhale to fall to the toes, bending the knees. One or two more circle breaths here. Feeling really good for your day ahead. Enjoying your practice. We're nearly done here. Cool. Let's come to meet with the hands at heart center. And just before we move into the last section of our practice, let's take a moment to work our balance. So opening the toes of the right foot and just bringing your weight onto that right leg. So feeling really grounded through the right leg. From here, the left foot can come across. Can you see that? We're gonna take the hands to the hips and push our hips to the right. So really over dramatizing that crook in the body. And then to the left, we're gonna pick up our invisible flutes. Now we're gonna make a mudra here, another Sanskrit word, mudra meaning seal. So sealing these channels together. We're gonna to make the middle finger and the ring finger meet the thumb. And on both hands, one's facing in, right's facing in, left is facing out. We're playing an invisible flute. We're pressing one way with the hips, opposite direction with the hands. We're making a threefold bend in the body. And from here, you could see if you wanna lift up that left foot, flexing the toes towards the left kneecaps. Gaze can go down to the right side of the body there. So just like you're playing a flute. Same um, effects will be there if you keep the foot on the floor. So all good, all G. If you can't do that one, that's all good. But this pose, Shamasunda Asana, has very calming effects on the nervous system. So pretty good way to start your day there. Always looking to balance energy, so energizing and also relaxing. Let's take it to the other side. But before we do so, let's just drop that foot, the left foot back to the floor. Take your invisible flute over your head. Grab your left wrist with your right index finger and thumb and just pull, pull, pull towards that right hip. Awesome, let's release, bring it back to center. Take your time to shake the hips, bring the weight now onto the left foot, open the left toes, nice and wide. Round down through the left leg, right foot in front, invisible flute to the right, press to the left with the hips, slide the foot up, gaze down. So flexing those right toes towards the right kneecap. If you can, you could, this is very hard, but you could move the eyes from one corner to the other. Pretty tricky, but give it a go. No one's gonna see if you fall. Cool, let's drop the foot, grab the right wrist with the left thumb and index and pull, pull, pull to the left hip. Awesome. All right, when you're done there, take your time. We're gonna take ourselves to a wall. So find a wall at home. And for this practice, we're also going to use our beads. So when you're ready, I'm just gonna to need to adjust this into my pocket. Find the wall and come as close as you can. Some of us might need a little extra padding. So you could bring your mat in or you could bring your blanket. You could open it up. Just make sure the floor is soft enough for your shoulders. 
as you need. So you take your time to find what you need for this. But once you're all organized, pretty easy, we're just gonna sit ourselves really close to that wall. So nestle in, you might bend the knees on your side here and just take your time to shunt up against the wall. From here with your beads in your right hand, you're gonna take yourself to swivel, placing the legs up, making an L shape with the body. So easy and just getting yourself really comfortable here. Place your beads onto your tummy weight, maybe placing the left hand on the belly, right hand with the beads. The eyes are closed and just give yourself a moment to adjust. So we're looking for a nice L shape here, right angles. And closing the eyes, we check that the jaw is released. Tongue is soft, mentally massaging the forehead and the eyebrows with the thumb and the middle finger. So not the index finger, the thumb and your middle finger. We're going to use the beads for our mantra. And the mantra today is Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana. So you might have a set of beads that's a half set, so 54, or you might have a full set, 108. I'm just gonna chant with 54 this morning, but you could continue if you have a bigger string of beads. And if you don't have beads, just use your hand or just simply listen and join in. When you're ready, it's very important also that we um, Make sure we can hear our own voice. So it doesn't need to be loud, but just loud enough that you're hearing the sound of the mantra generated from within. Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana. 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 
Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana 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 Haribo When you're ready bend the knees and just take your time to roll over onto whatever side you prefer have a little curl up in a recovery pose feeling really really good after your yoga practice this morning ready to have an amazing day thank you so much for letting me teach you yoga if you have any more questions or you'd like to know more about the mantras that we're chanting just have a look at some of the awesome videos on this channel so many great resources for you and i hope you have a wonderful day namaste